The grandmother of Juneteenth, Opal Lee, is a Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient. Lee was one of 19 people recognized by President Biden a few hours ago and Fox 4 Stephen Dial in studio with more. Stephen. Opal Lee now has the highest honor a civilian can receive here in the United States. The 97-year-old is still full of life and she is still dedicated to educating everyone. Opal Lee. The grandmother of Juneteenth returned to the White House Friday. Opal Lee of Fort Worth was one of 19 selected to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the country. For years, Lee walked to raise awareness of Juneteenth, the day slaves in Texas learned they were free, two years after slaves were freed. Thank you, man. In 2021, President Biden signed a law making Juneteenth a federal holiday. The first person I handed the pen to was Miss Opal Lee, a grandmother of the movement that helped make it possible. Lee shared the stage with the only woman to serve as Speaker of the U.S. House, Nancy Pelosi, the most decorated female Olympic swimmer, Katie Ledecky, and other politicians, activists, and athletes. Age has not slowed the 97-year-old down. Lee still participates in the annual Juneteenth Walk. She is the second African-American in history to have a portrait on the walls of the Texas State Capitol. President Biden said this honor speaks to the dedication Lee has shown in educating the nation. Juneteenth is a day of profound, profound weight and power to remember the original sin of slavery and the extraordinary capacity to merge the most painful moments with a better vision of ourselves. Ms. Opal Lee made it her mission to make history, not erase it. We're in a better nation because of you. Now next week, Opal Lee will receive an honorary PhD from SMU. She has multiple. Last year, UNT gave her an honorary PhD. Stephen, thank you.